Egyptian women joined the protests that ousted the former government in January and February and the more recent protests and sit-ins to press the current interim government to move to parliamentary elections and a new constitution. The women and men shared the same goals, ousting the former regime and creating a real democracy. But there were some women who also had goals specific to women's rights. Among them was Habiba Darwish Mohammed, a government employee. Women should have guaranteed seats in the parliament and have full rights and independence, freedom from intimidation and equality with men when it comes to divorce and child visitation. For more than 15 years, the Center for Egyptian Women has been working for such rights. One of its founders is Aza Soleiman. In the long term, the new constitution should make the status of women equal to all men, and it should protect the rights of both men and women. But that is more easily said than done. In March, Egyptians voted to have the new parliament to be elected this fall write a new constitution. The Muslim Brotherhood's new political party is expected to play a significant, perhaps leading role in that process. Party Vice Chairman Esam al Aryan says in Islam, women are equal to men, but he adds that there is room for interpretation of that concept. This implementation of Islamic regulation is different from society to, to another one. You know that even in some uh, uh, countries which is supported by the West all the time, women are prevented from even driving. That kind of talk could be cause for concern for those who advocate women's rights like Aza Soleiman. <laughs> When it comes to values like justice, equality, and social justice, nobody will argue about it. But exactly what people mean by those terms will vary, and the needs of women in different social and economic situations also varies. Suleiman says Egypt needs a strategic plan to educate both men and women about the importance of everyone's rights. Of course, some men may try to prevent the women and their families from voting or try to control their votes. That's why awareness and enlightenment are important for both. Democratic transformation will take time. The Egyptian women who came out to protest in Cairo and other cities made a start on that. But Suleiman and other activists agree the work will have to continue for years to come. Al Pesson, VOA News, Cairo.